Hello, and welcome to a new episode of 7 Facts. If you love geography and history, subscribe right now, I promise it'll be worth it. Glarus is a Swiss canton, a federal state that forms part of the Swiss Confederation. It lies at the heart of the country, having just 40,000 people living in it. Most speak the Alemannic variety of the German language, with a significant part of the population speaking Italian. This canton is all about mountains and valleys, so the scenery is everything you would expect from Switzerland. But of course, there's a lot more to talk about, so stick around to find out more. Glarus's coat of arms speaks about the earliest history of the canton. It features Saint Fridolin, an Irish monk who converted the inhabitants of the Linth Valley to Christianity in the 6th century AD. About two centuries later, the Alemanni Germanic tribes started to move in and their language gradually took hold, so much so that by the 11th century, there was the dominant language. Then the famous and powerful House of Habsburg claimed the area, thus putting Glarus on a path to its present status. Before we get to the next fact, I'd like to ask you something. This video isn't sponsored and none of them are so far, so perhaps you'd consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron. If you still enjoy my content, go visit my Patreon page and help this channel out. Now with that said, let's go to fact number 3. In 1352, Glarus joined the old Swiss Confederacy as one of the foundational eight cantons. Uri, Schwitz and Unterwalden were the original cantons that established the confederacy, but these communities then followed the policy of expansion. Lucerne, Zurich, Glarus, Zug and Bern followed, thus forming the Acht Orte, the eight old cantons. Their common purpose lay in their determination not to submit to any of the great feudal lords, above all the Habsburg Dukes of Austria. They also strived for imperial freedom within the Holy Roman Empire, that is, direct subordination to the Emperor and the right to self-administer their lands. This loose alliance gradually grew into a more stable confederacy that became a separate political entity on its own. The capital city of Glarus is the city of the same name, one of the smallest of the Swiss capitals. Most of the buildings you can see today date from after 1861. That year, the town was devastated by a fire, aggravated by strong south winds, thus funneling down the fire from the high mountains to the valley. That fire basically destroyed the entire town, but it didn't erase it from the maps. Glarus remained and was rebuilt and in a short time, it played an important role in European history. In 1864, the first ever European labor law meant to protect workers was introduced in Glarus, prohibiting workers from working more than 12 hours a day. Today, the city and its surroundings are absolutely gorgeous and well maintained, so in case you had doubts, it's definitely worth a visit. Historically, Glarus has been the most industrialized canton of Switzerland. Already in the 15th century, the people around here secured their livelihood with cattle and dairy exports. With the advent of the Industrial Revolution, Glarus saw the development of factories, printing shops, weaving mills and so on. But no rivers of milk and honey flow through Glarus either, so there were times of economic hardships. In the middle of the 19th century, every 12th citizen already left the canton in search of a better life. New Glarus, in Wisconsin, USA, is a town established by Swiss immigrants that came from this canton. Ironically, just a couple of decades later, an economic miracle took place thanks to the textile industry and the canton bounced back to prosperity, which it maintains to this day. The Landsgemeinde is a unique system of direct democracy practiced in Switzerland since times immemorial. It is a public, non-secret ballot voting system operating by majority rule, which actually constitutes one of the oldest forms of direct democracy. Today though, the Landsgemeinde has been abolished at the cantonal level in all but two cantons, where it still holds the highest political authority, Appenzell Innerhoden and Glarus. In Glarus, this tradition is still alive and well. In fact, new measures to encourage participation had been introduced here, including the extension of participation to citizens aged 16 or older. If epic scenery is what you seek, you need to come to Glarus. 
The canton is dominated by the deep valley of the Linth River, surrounded by the Alps. The differences in altitude are mind-blowing. From the flat valley floor at 414 meters, the terrain rises to over 3,600 meters. Most of the canton is mountainous, so this pattern repeats itself throughout the state. Adrenaline junkies and nature lovers, welcome to your paradise! Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Leave your comments downstairs and don't forget, there's a Patreon page where you can support this channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye.